Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I rolled a cigarette with a page from a dictionary, and now I'm going to be smoking it to become smart. Do I think it'll work? Probably not, in all honesty, but nonetheless, I am still very excited to, well, smoke a cigarette that was rolled with a page from a dictionary. And the page in specific that I used to roll this cigarette right here was indeed the page that contains the definition of both cigarettes and cigars. I had to do it, you know what I'm saying? I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely had to do it. We can see on the top of the cigarette right here just a little bit. We can't actually see the full definition of cigarette or of cigar, but we can see a little bit of the definition that is for sure. It just says a roll of tobacco for, and then it just says a little cut to, or something like that kind of thing. And then it just says used for smoking. So we can see that that is indeed well, the definition, or at least part of the definition of either cigarettes or cigars. Not exactly sure which one I will admit, but if I had to guess, a roll of tobacco is probably going to be the cigar definition. So I'm not exactly sure which part of that is indeed, or I could see Eret right there. I could see I could see Eret right there. So I'm pretty sure that is the beginning of the definition for a cigarette, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But what are my expectations for this experience where I'm gonna be smoking a cigarette that was rolled with a page from a dictionary well my expectations are not really all that positive i will admit taste wise i'm not really expecting the greatest taste in the world there's a lot of ink on this paper it's pretty thick paper as well it's definitely not meant to be smoked that is for sure so as such i definitely do think i'm going to be getting a decent amount of a chemically taste from this cigarette that is going to very much overwhelm the tobacco taste and just the tobacco in general that i put inside this cigarette right here and everything like that you know what i'm saying body wise i definitely do think it's probably going to have a very comparable body to a normal cigarette and roughness wise i definitely do think it might be a bit more rough than a normal cigarette just simply because well it's got a lot of ink on it it's thick paper kind of thing it's not meant to be smoked and everything like that kind of thing so as such i definitely do think it might be a little bit rough but before i go ahead and actually get this cigarette right here all lit up i just want to go ahead and talk about how i actually made well this cigarette right here so how did i make this cigarette well basically what i did is i just cut out a piece of paper from my dictionary right here and then after that i just cut the piece of paper to size for a rolling paper and everything like that kind of thing and then i took a piece of gum and i stuck the gum along the edge of the paper right there and then after that i filled up my rolling machine with both a filter and some tobacco the tobacco i used in today's video was some pharaoh's unfiltered tobacco and then after that i literally just rolled it like a normal cigarette in my rolling machine and everything like that kind of thing it was a pretty simple pretty easy process you know what i'm saying i did have to cut off a little bit of the paper because i made it a little bit too long at first first and it just wasn't wanting to roll properly I will admit but nonetheless I got it to work you know what I'm saying so certainly no complaints on my behalf but without further ado now that I've gone ahead and given you guys the intro of this video now that I've gone ahead and given you guys my expectations for this cigarette right here and now that I've gone ahead and told you guys how I actually made this cigarette it is now time for me to go ahead and well get my cigarette that I rolled with a page from a dictionary all lit up and go ahead and let you guys know how it actually is and if it's good would i do this again more than likely i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying more than likely especially since this book right here this dictionary right here only cost me 25 cents this if you use every single page from this if you use every single page from this dictionary it is so cheap if you're actually willing to smoke it and everything like that kind of thing so cheap but i don't really think it's going to be all that great of an experience but nonetheless i certainly am excited to smoke this cigarette right here nonetheless you know what i'm saying i'm saying without further ado though I've got my lighter on the ground next to me, not in my pocket. It is now time for me to go ahead and, well, get this cigarette right here all lit up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, and I'm saying, I'm saying. <sighs> right off the bat, lots of chemical taste. Lots of chemical taste and unfamiliar chemical taste. So definitely not just chemical taste from my lighter and everything like that kind of thing. Definitely chemical taste from the paper itself. And I will admit, it certainly does not help either that this paper is also quite old. It is quite yellowed. I will admit, let me just go ahead and grab the dictionary real quick and just go ahead and show y'all. The paper is quite yellowed. I ain't gonna lie. This is a pretty old dictionary. I don't actually know when it was published. I didn't actually look at that. Let me see if I can go to the back of the book and find out when this was published. I actually have no clue. Does it say in the back of the book? I'm just trying to flip around and everything like that kind of thing. I'm not seeing anything on the back of the book. What about the front of the book? Let's see, 1994 edition. This book is literally older than me. <laughs> so I'm smoking paper that is literally older than me. No wonder it's not gonna taste very good, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, it is indeed smoking, you know what I'm saying? And I will admit, the last hit I just took, the, the hit I just took, honestly, I did not get much 
chemical taste off of that. And in fact, it was actually a little bit sweet, which is a little bit odd, I will admit, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf either way, though. I'm gonna go and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right off the bat, this is really not smoking bad at all. I ain't gonna lie, this is really not smoking bad at all. I am overall very impressed. It's definitely canoeing a little bit kind of thing. That's okay though, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly natural. It's not an extreme canoe, it is what it is. I can deal with it, you know what I'm saying? But right off the bat, it's not really all that bad. It's a lot better than the first that I took, that's for sure, I ain't gonna lie. Wow, I am actually, pretty impressed right now it's you do definitely get a very papery taste in your mouth that is for sure i will admit i am very much getting a papery taste in my mouth but it's not like super chemically or anything like that kind of thing i'm like it was at the beginning but now it's it's really not all that bad there is a little bit of like sort of a, a chemically taste in there don't get me wrong but it's not exorbitant it's not a crazy intense taste or anything like that kind of thing it's really not half bad i ain't gonna lie Yeah, definitely a little bit of a chemically taste, but not really all that bad. Is this any more rough than a normal cigarette? In all honesty, not really. Not really any more particularly rough than a normal cigarette. No complaints for me. Let's go and test the body real quick. Body is about the same size as a normal cigarette. Definitely a little bit of roughness when I was testing the body there just because I didn't inhale it and everything like that kind of thing, but Overall, I am very impressed right now. I ain't gonna lie. This is really not half bad. This is, seriously, this is not a half bad experience. Would I do it again? It is a little bit of trouble to get set up and everything like that kind of thing, but if all I had was a dictionary and I had some gum and I had some tobacco and I had some filters, would I do this again? Yeah, but in what realistic scenario am I actually gonna be in that situation? Probably not a lot of very realistic scenarios, I will admit, but nonetheless, would I do this again if I absolutely had to? Yeah, honestly, it's really, I would much rather smoke this than no cigarette at all. Let me just put it that way. Although I certainly would not do this on a routine basis. The ash is a little bit flaky, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not as flaky as it certainly could be. That is for sure, definitely not as flaky as some of the actual rolling papers that I've used to smoke cigarettes, that I've used to, uh, as some of the actual rolling papers that I've used to roll cigarettes. I am honestly very surprised right now, I ain't gonna lie. And I will admit, it is also certainly quite amusing, at least to me, that I rolled a cigarette from with a page from a dictionary and that page has the definition of cigarette on it. So is this like cigarette, what, what's the right word? Cigarette inception or something like that kind of thing? I'm pretty sure it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna go and grab another little screenshot real quick though. <sighs> Certainly no complaints on my behalf though. I am overall very impressed with how this is smoking so far. Wow. No complaints for me, you know what I'm saying? A decent amount of tar coming through, don't get me wrong, but the taste of it, really not all that bad. The papery taste definitely is a little bit overwhelming, definitely overwhelms the tobacco taste a little bit, but not fully, not fully, I definitely have to say. I used some Pharaoh's Unfiltered Tobacco for this cigarette, as said, and Pharaoh's Unfiltered Tobacco tends to be a little bit more sour and everything like that kind of thing, and I'm definitely getting a little bit of a sort of a, a sour tobacco taste, along with a little bit of like a sour, papery taste as well, I definitely have to say, but, but overall, and some sweetness in there as well, which is very odd. I'm I'm a little bit confused right now. Where is that sweetness coming from? I seriously doubt that this paper is sweet. I ain't gonna lie. I am a little bit confused right now. I ain't gonna lie where that sweetness is coming from. Maybe it's coming from the tobacco. I've never actually just smoked a Pharaoh's unfiltered without the paper. I don't know how I would smoke it without the paper, but I, wonder, I do wonder what the actual just tobacco itself tastes like. And maybe the tobacco itself has a nice sweet tinge to it and it's actually the paper giving it that sour taste i really have no clue but nonetheless i am actually getting a little bit of a sweet taste from this cigarette which is a little bit odd certainly no complaints on my behalf though yeah i am overall very impressed right off the bat kind of thing i am very impressed right off the bat certainly no complaints for me that is for sure i am very much enjoying this experience and is this something I would do again? If I absolutely had to, yeah, I'd, I'd have no qualms of smoking another cigarette 
that was rolled with a page from a dictionary. Honestly, I would have no qualms with it, but is this something I would do on a routine basis? No, no, I would not do this on a routine basis. You know what I'm saying? If I have prepackaged cigarettes or if I have actual papers, I would much rather just use those. But if a dictionary was the only thing I had, then I'd use it, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And man, oh man, that wind is certainly picking up. I do apologize for any wind noise y'all are hearing or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? It is a little bit breezy today, but it's not terrible, you know what I'm saying? It's not terrible. It's just a nice, cool little breeze and everything like that kind of thing. It's a little bit warm when you get in the sun, but when you're in the shade, it's a little, it's a little bit, it's a little bit chilly, I will admit, which is why I'm wearing my hoodie and everything like that. But in the sun, I'd be wearing just my normal short sleeve shirt. I got under this hoodie and everything like that kind of thing. It's one of those days, you know what I'm saying? So I will admit the breeze certainly is very, very, very much welcome to be, uh, well, breezy, I do suppose, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I'm not exactly sure. I want to say the end of the cigarette is right about where my thumb and index finger is and everything like that kind of thing. So as such, I'm going to go and take a couple more hits. And then after that, I'm going to go and give you guys my final thoughts on this experience. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take those last couple hits. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oh, no complaints for me. You know I'm saying no complaints for me. But man, oh man, I think that's just about all I have to smoke and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go and just stub it out on the ground real quick. Got to make sure I don't be causing no forest fires or nothing like that. Just go ahead and just wipe all the ash all over the ground and everything like that. There was definitely a little bit of tobacco left, but I wasn't really willing to smoke the rest of it because I don't want to be getting no filter taste or nothing like that. We can see the filter definitely did get pretty mushy. I ain't going to lie. Lots of tar coming through and everything like that. But really, taking my sunglasses off, yeah, no, that's still a lot of tar. It's not just the sunglasses make me think it's a lot of tar. It is actually a lot of tar, but but certainly no complaints on my behalf about this experience where i rolled a cigarette with a dictionary and smoked it to become smart did i become any smarter by doing this eh, probably not i definitely can see myself doing more experiences like this again so i don't really think i became any smarter and yeah, I definitely don't think I became any smarter because I'm definitely going to be doing experiences like this again. And I do suppose those probably aren't the smartest thing in the world to do. But nonetheless, I do certainly feel a little bit more big brain than not. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I definitely do now know the definition of cigarette off the top of my head. Every definition that I smoked in today's video, I now know is just ingrained in my brain and everything like that kind of thing. But overall, what are my final thoughts on this experience? My final thoughts on this experience are actually very positive. It really wasn't all that bad. It was way better than smoking printer paper. It was way better than smoking a sticky note. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? The ash wasn't super ashy. The taste wasn't, it, I'm like, it was terrible at the beginning kind of thing, but then it kind of just mellowed out and I just got sort of a papery taste mixed in with tobacco, a, a tiny bit of chemical taste, but really not much at all. Really not a bad taste at all, in all honesty. And I got a tinge of sweetness from it too. I don't know, maybe it's just the consistency of the paper or something like that kind of thing. Maybe this is old enough to be like rice paper or something like that. I really have no clue. But nonetheless, it tasted pretty good. The body wasn't bad. It wasn't particularly rough. Overall, rolling a cigarette with a page from a dictionary and smoking it really was not all that bad of an experience. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Although I will admit, I definitely don't think I got any smarter. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I think that's just about all I have to say about this video and about this experience and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So now it is time for me to go ahead and, well, finish off this video right here. Thank you very much for watching the video where I, well, rolled a cigarette with a page from a dictionary and smoked it to become smart. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.